Hi y'all, this is your girl Amber, and welcome to the Roommates! Today, I'm having McDonald's! So roomies, go get your plates, grab your food, and come sit down and eat with us. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get future notifications every time the Roommates drop a new video. Enjoy watching y'all! Now let's eat! Hey roomies, it's your girl Amber, I'm so glad to be back. Today I got a double quarter pounder with bacon on it. Uh, let me show you that. I'm gonna take it out the box so you can see that better. Bam, look at that. And I got chicken tenders. I've never had them before. I've only had McDonald's chicken nuggets. I'm pouring out the box so you all can see it. So I'll just put it on there nicely. And make like a little chicken tower. There we go. Look at that. Look at how nice that looks. And let's not forget the fries. Because McDonald's, I think they have the best fries. So you guys, today Keisha and I are doing a uh, Q&A, Would You Rather. She'll be on the sidelines asking me Would You Rather questions. There will be 10 questionnaires. I can't wait to find out what those questions are. <laughs> I'm so excited and scared at the same time because I don't know if I'll be able to answer them. Oh, you gotta answer questions. <laughs> I'm gonna answer them, all right. And I forgot to mention, if you're new, welcome. And if you've been here a while, you know it's time to get into this countdown. So, obviously, I'm gonna do the bacon quarter pounder, y'all. Look at that. Bam! Look how look how good that burger looks. It looks just like the commercial. It's not messy or nothing. Finally, McDonald's did an accomplishment. Now let's pose for the camera. Let's do that countdown now, y'all. Three, two, one, go. Damn, this burger's good. I haven't had McDonald's in a while. I especially haven't had their quarter pounders in a while. Usually when I order from there, I always get the, um, I always get the Big Macs. All right, so you ready to answer these questions? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see. Number one. Number one. <laughs> I'm drizzling all this ketchup. All right, Amber. Would you rather yeah. walk in on your parents making love <laughs> or have them walk in on you? Um, um, I'd rather walk in on them, and I know that sounds weird, and I'll explain why that's my answer. Because I lived in a Catholic household, so if they walked in on me having sex, I would have had to pack my bags and get the hell out of the house because they would have kicked me out. So you would rather walk in on them? Yeah, because at least I know I ain't getting kicked out. Okay, okay, okay. Number two. Hmm. Would you rather get physical with your boss to get promoted or you would rather give up the promotion? You said get physical with my boss? Yeah, would you rather get physical with your boss to get a promotion? Or would you just say to get the promotion? I'll get and, and not get busy with your boss. <laughs> uh if it's for a promotion, hell freaking yeah, I'm gonna get physical. Because <laughs> I need that money. I get, mama needs stuff. <laughs> so you gonna get down with your boss? Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, here go one. Would you rather have no friends at all or have no access to the internet? 
I'm going to say no friends so I can have access to the internet. You would rather have access to the internet than have friends? What? Well, let me refer. It's your answer now. It's your answer. <laughs> Don't change because I asked the question. Can I change my answer? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just blurred it out. I wasn't thinking this through. No, you got to. Oh, my God. I can't okay. believe it. Okay, so why you want to change it? Because if I have no friends, but I got the internet, I'm gonna need my friends to help me pay for the internet. So what? that, yeah. Wait, 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 you gonna. <laughs> yeah, because without friends, I'm gonna be broke. Living How on my own. you broke with no friends? <laughs> because if you got good friends, they're gonna. A lot of times people live with their friends. So. The friends are going to help pay for the internet to have internet in the house. So therefore, I'd rather if what I could. If your, what if all your friends is broke and they can't help you pay for no internet? Well, then we could. So have, you just want to have friends you can use. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in a way, in a, no. I'd rather have friends in the internet because. <clears throat> Because we'll have each other's emotional support. So you would rather have friends than yes. no internet. Not friends <laughs> to pay for your internet. What the hell? <laughs> that's, that's messed up, Ellen. <laughs> well, would they have internet? If I don't have internet, would they have internet on the phone? Then you just gotta have the internet, huh? Boy, I remember when we was kids. We ain't had no internet, girl. Well... Internet wasn't like it is right now. Yeah, but nowadays you need the internet because um, you need to find a job because not everybody does YouTube. So those that don't do YouTube, <laughs> they need a damn job. Okay, okay. okay. All right, Amber. Would you rather be the subject matter of gossip or never being talked about at all? Um, I want to be the subject matter of gossip. <laughs> you want to be talking yes, about gossip? Yes, because... Yeah, because uh, sometimes it can be good gossip, right? Yes, and also because I used to read my horoscope all the time. Anytime I had, when, um, when I would read about the Leo. And it would say that the Leo is meant to be in the limelight. <laughs> so that's why I want to be the top of the town. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Help us, help us, please. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Shoot me with another one, girl. I can't wait to hear your answer for this one. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather date an ugly rich guy or a poor guy who was very nice looking? Oh, that's an easy one. I'll go with the ugly rich guy. Because <laughs> he got the money. Hell huh? yeah, because he got the money. I ain't going no poor guy. Because if he got nothing to give me, what what the hell he is this? He give you love. Well, what's the song say? Love, uh, 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 uh. No. affection is that? <laughs> yeah, he can give me what. I think that's how it is. But sometimes love and... Affection is not always enough. Sometimes what? I need stuff. I need stuff. I just need stuff. Love I'm, is love. The, 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 what, like what type of stuff you need? I'm a shopaholic. Lord Jesus. If I had a man, I'd be a damn shopaholic. I, I would drive him to the moon. I used to drive my mama to the moon. That woman used to spoil me rotten. So because I was spoiled rotten as a kid, if I go with the man, I want him to be able to spoil me too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So call me a gold digger. <laughs> okay, here go one, Amber. <laughs> what number is that? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay. <clears throat> Six. Would you rather be told that you are not good at kissing or not good at giving oral? I would say not good at kissing. 
First thing I'm going to please the man. First thing, it, it, it's... It's very few men that like to kiss. But you got to be good at what it counts. Because otherwise your man is going to cheat on you with another woman. And then you're going to be standing there looking stupid. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Would you rather marry a total stranger or have forced intimacy with one? Um... I would say marry one because the other one is sound very horrible. It do don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you you would rather marry a total stranger? Yeah, because at least the marriage. Let's just say if it's an arranged marriage, a lot of times arranged marriage, the man has something to offer. But being forced, you're not really getting nothing out of it. He's more he's getting more out of it than you. He's getting joy and and, and uh, you're getting pain and suffering. Now on top of it, if you're forced into it, it might make you not want to look at another man. And that's sad, especially if you're married to a man. And say you guys have a disagreement, you go to the bar. And you end up sleeping with another man and he rapes you then your husband is going to be extremely upset because then you won't want to make love with him so I, maybe understand it. some husbands yeah but other ones will just get jealous and be like that's what you get no amber no no it's or they might leave you because you cheated on them. And all they'll be thinking about is the fact that you cheated. But I thought you were talking about forced intimacy. Forced intimacy ain't really being, it ain't really like cheating. That's, that's sort of like a form of like rape. Oh, well, if a man forces you into it, that's different. But if you went out looking for the man and he ends up raping you, then... You'll be lucky if your man understands that. Mm, okay. <laughs> we gonna move on. <laughs> okay. okay. Would you rather have no physical intimacy or no true love? I don't. I don't think I could go without like. Yeah, I'm going to say, um, that's a tough one. I would say, no physical intimacy or no true love. I would say no true love because if I had to go without physical intimacy, I... I'd probably put my husband through hell because I'm gonna be cranky all the time and I just I just can't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So you wouldn't really wanna be married to somebody you know that just just love you for who you are, regardless to what you can do. What if something happened where you can't have you, like intimacy isn't enjoyable for you? And what and then you have love, you have that person that loves you and understand. And, and oh, you mean like for be there with you regardless, you know? Oh well, then I guess I'll take the. the no, I mean it's your answer, but. Well, I mean you you are right on that because for all you know, for the women out there, if they can't have intimacy, there's usually there's usually a reason. Like down the road, if they get cancer, when people go through chemo, there is no love making going on. There is no way in hell that there's love making going on with all the pain and the suffering they got to go through. Okay. So, I just, I'd rather have true love. So I have, I have changed my answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather, Amber, 
Would you rather sleep with your pastor or sleep with your boss? Um, I would. <clears throat> that's the easy one. I would say sleep with the boss because what is get what what in the hell am I gonna get out of sleeping with my pastor? <laughs> what? Wait, what you mean? Well, I am I gonna get acceptance into heaven if I sleep with the pastor? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. And a lot of times, the pastor is not good looking. In the Catholic Church, the pastor is real hideous and old, like like a hundred year old man looking. <laughs> I mean, the only way I'm gonna sleep with the pastor <laughs> is if I go to a Baptist church and there's attractive black men. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, because because older white to me, older white guys that are sixty do not look nowhere near as attractive as older black men. <laughs> and plus they have that voice they got that voice when they get up on there what voice who are you talking about the, the pastors and the black church yeah they sing and they got a voice on them that just like yeah but don't tell me you went to church and, fell and, 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 and was looking at Rev Nell at a certain time <laughs> no, <clears throat> no I'm saying if we went to a different church and they had an attractive <laughs> no no, I'm not talking about Reverend Ali. I, I, was I was talking about the man that was talking at that funeral. And what funeral? Um, when, um, when it was, uh, your, uh, that funeral we went to, not Reverend Ali, but, uh, I think it was your brother's, uh, grandma. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> now, the man that was standing up at that funeral... I thought I thought he was nice looking, and he had a voice that just up, uplift, uplifted your soul. Now, Ravenelli, it sounds like he's complaining. <laughs> <laughs> he said all he did was complain and talk smack, and I just felt like the man was very discriminating. <laughs> okay. Okay, Emma, somebody in my head is going to come to you. I That's don't. That's not talking about people past. Okay. Okay. <laughs> would you rather... <laughs> would you rather pocket down your mom while getting busy? Wait, what? <laughs> Say that guy. I didn't hear you over my chewing. Would you rather pocket down, like butt down? You know how you call it, butt down? Would you rather pocket down your mom while getting busy? What is pocket down? Like butt down. You know how your phone be in your pocket and you ask Oh, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. While getting busy or accidentally go live on social media while getting busy. I'm going to say, uh... <laughs> no, I have to ask. I have to ask about um the live on social media. Like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, would you rather butt down your mom or accidentally go live on social media? You talk about when my mom was around? Or if she was How still <laughs> or if she was around now in my twenties. Well, if if it was when I was a teenager and I butt dialed, um, I'm gonna say I would rather go live on social media and not know than to ever butt dial my mom because that woman was nuts. <laughs> oh, no. That woman was not she. No, that woman was crazy. If that woman and heard me having sex back in the day, she would have found me banging on the door and she would have had her belt ready. I wouldn't got a woman. It wouldn't matter if I'm 18 years old. If I'm living under her roof, she would want me to be like a, like a, like a perfect little Catholic girl. If she knew her perfect little Catholic girl was not a virgin, she would have walked in, banging on that door, break the door down, and she would whoop the shit out of me. Probably whoop the man I'm with too. <laughs> My mom 
thought was crazy. You can't you can't underestimate the tally of women. Okay. That's funny. Me, I would have rather butt down my mama. <laughs> I don't know. I would have rather butt down. Oh uh, well, yes. Well, your mother was a lot more understanding than my mother. Social media? That means it's all over everywhere. My well, then I can just take it down. You can't take it down. Do you know what's on the internet? It's on the internet. Yeah, but How my you gonna remove that? my family don't go on my Facebook. Shh. Okay. Well, no people one I know. From school, people from work, people from all. Oh, please. <laughs> I wouldn't have cared because back then, back in the day, I didn't have a Facebook, so I wouldn't have cared. Well, I'm talking about it's <laughs> Facebook everywhere now. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't care if it's on Facebook. I just don't want to butt dial my mother. She's crazier than Facebook. Facebook, all they're going to do is make a joke out of your butt. No. And so you'd rather get the joke instead of getting the whooping, huh? Yeah, exactly. I'd rather get laughed at than get a whooping. <laughs> Mm -mm. Cause if I get a whooping, then my butt's gonna be in so much pain. I'm not gonna be able to want to take off my clothes for my man. Cause I'll be in too much pain. I'll have like bruises everywhere, and he'll be like, "What the hell happened to you?" And I'll be like, "You know what happened? You were there." <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. We're going to close this out, but I do we want to take as the two turns, see if they can answer, answer these questions. Prissy P. Yep, Prissy P. I, I want to tag you, girl, because I want to hear what your answers will be. <laughs> I'm dying to know what you got to say. What the mug mug? What the mug mug? And tasty mug Tasty mug mug. Tasty mug mug. We want to hear your answer too, girl. <laughs> That's what we want to see. As the tunes are tasty mug mug, Prissy P. And what the mug bomb? Okay. <laughs> Guess we're going to close it out. Yes, we're going to close out, you guys. <laughs> so we had a lot of fun with this Q&A and the answers. And, yeah, he's, and, have a and, and he's laughing in the background. So you guys, we had a lot of fun with this Q&A. I can't wait to see you guys again. So don't forget to. Yeah, that's if y'all get to see her again. She might get a whooping. She's gonna be butt down. <laughs> no, no, I can't. I can not get no whooping because if I butt down, keys, she ain't my mama, so she ain't gonna care. <laughs> <laughs> but my mama, she, she, she's not with us right now. God rest her soul. She's um, she's in a better place, a better place in heaven. But I know if she was watching me, she'd enjoy watching this. But I know if my family saw this this uh, this video, they'd be like, oh my God, she'd rather it be on the internet than the butt down mom. <laughs> yeah, because at least on the internet, I could get a whooping. I'm just going to get laughed at. <laughs> laughed at out of town. Ooh, everybody's going to be turned up all over the internet. Hey, hey. And, and that, yep, and that, and that is everywhere I go. If they know me and they see the, and they see what's going on on the internet, they'll just be imitating everything well, I did in the video. You gonna go viral then? I'm gonna go viral. And I'll probably get some money for going viral. What the heck? You know what? <laughs> Goodbye, y'all. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Peace Thanks out. for watching. Peace out, y'all. Don't forget to live, love, and laugh. Bye.